What's happening everyone? Welcome to another YouTube video. Now, have you seen these on Instagram? I like to call these Instagram grids, you may have another name for it, but I often use these on Instagram because I think it just elevates your post, it makes you stand out amongst others. And when I use them, it's because I want to tell a story, make things look more cinematic. Um, so I would recommend, if you are going to use this, a variety of shots so you might have a wide angle shot you might have a close-up shot you could have three close-up shots just make sure they all relate so that could be three day images three night images three images from a similar location um, and that's what I tend to do and I think they're really effective and in this video I'll show you how to achieve these three grids using Adobe Photoshop there's many ways to do this um, I'm going to show you how, I, how I've how i learned off YouTube as well and I just want to share the knowledge so um, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure you've got the three images that you want to use in the collage open up, open up, <laughs> opened in Photoshop. Uh, these are the three images that I will be using and then you'd want to have an additional photo open where you'll be adding the collage to. Just make sure this is a four by five crop as that is the maximum size Instagram allows you to upload. From here, I'm going to click view and then new guide layout. Make sure rows is selected and then the number of rows, I tend to do two, three or four. Any more than four, you're sort of cutting into the space um, in terms of how much of the image is shown and especially on a platform like Instagram you're not really going to see much of the image so I tend to like I tend to like I like to do three or four uh, and sometimes two as well click OK now you have your grids and it's equally spaced each image and now it's as simple as dragging and dropping your images so I'm going to use this one on the top you can see that it's plotted in there and to move it around it simply is dragging and dropping but if you wanted to decrease the size or increase the size then it's command T so you can show more of the image or less of the image and then press command D or enter just to go back to normal view and there we go I'm happy with that second image I'm going to put this one in the middle so now you can see we've got this extra bit of image at the top which has overlaid the first image we've put on. To get rid of this you use the marquee tool on the top left here and simply go over the extra bit of image and press delete and then command D to go back to normal view. And then for the final image I'm going to use this picture of the Sony A7 III. there's good and again marquee tool just to get rid of that extra bit of image cool and then the final bit would just be to do file save and then you should end up with an image like this also have you seen this now this is really cool it's one image uh, most likely a landscape image and it's spread across two posts and it's seamless and from a Instagram uh, perspective if you're if you're viewing it on someone's feed and you're scrolling it just looks so cool it looks so sharp as well um, and I'll also show you how to do that in order to do this all you need to do is select the slice tool uh, if you can't find it then come over to this search bar in Photoshop and simply type in slice and you'll be able to select the slice tool and what you want to do is drag a box over half the image until you see this purple line and then you want to go to file export save for web legacy and then you should end up with something like this Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you've learned something, hope you've taken something away and also if you want me to have a look at your Instagram post if you're a fellow photographer, I do have a hashtag called ShareWithCam, so if you want me to see your work, I tend to go on it 
every now and again, every few days, I'll dip into it and have a look what's going on, what you've been posting. So if you do want me to see your work, make sure you use the hashtag share with Cam. We're at about two and a half thousand posts now, which is like amazing. So I really look forward to seeing your work. Um, also drop me a follow on Instagram and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more photography tips, more POVs, and yeah, just to keep uh, an eye on what I'm doing in the photography world. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.